Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the Volley, it is Hollywood Shono here, about to give you the daily vlog for Friday, February 25th, on this cold, wintry day in Michigan. I just got out of work at 6.30, got home at about 6.45, home now, and relaxing. And I want to talk a little bit about Elden Ring. That game is awesome. It definitely feels like a Dark Souls game. I know it's more open world with crafting and some other stuff. Vince and I put about four hours into the game last night. We'll probably put another four in tonight. And let me just tell you, the game is hard, punishing, but fun. We haven't been able to figure out the co-op yet, and I'm sure if they have the same issues that Dark Souls has, the online portion of the game might not work. We are going to try it tonight and see if it's any different. There is some anti-cheat program, kind of like Lost Ark has. The problem with the Lost Ark anti-cheat is that if you lag out and the game crashes for whatever reason, it'll keep thinking that you're logged into the game. I think that's super annoying, and it's something that they need to fix. But I also wish that I could figure out how to actually set something up so my internet doesn't disconnect all the time. I know I've heard of VPNs, but those cost money, and I really don't want to spend money to have to do that. Maybe it's just while wow, randomly disconnecting more often. Because I feel like that when I was on Xfinity, that didn't happen much. The problem is Xfinity is way more expensive, and I don't feel like paying for that. I feel that WoW's prices are pretty reasonable. I don't like that either place has a data cap. I think data capping is a dick move to try to get more money out of the 1% of people that actually use 2 to 3 terabytes a month, which is probably mostly streamers. But yeah, Elden Ring is going to be streamed again tonight. There is an event on WWE Mayhem that I might also record before I actually start playing Elden Ring with Vince. More on that later. I believe it's with Kane tonight for more of the main event mics. We're going to try to do like we did with the Fired Superstars. I don't know if I can actually pull that off. But some of the challenges are pretty hard when you have to use three stars and four stars. And most of them are not meta. But it does give you a reason to upgrade superstars that you normally wouldn't. Now as far as Marvel Contest of Champions goes, we are running into Alliance Quest. We have two people that didn't play in quests yesterday so we'll be monitoring that the three strike rule is in effect if people don't join quests we're gonna have to replace them we don't need dead weight and i know some people don't like actually playing more than alliance quest so it's sometimes a chore but you do get really good rewards with alliance quests i still do it because i want to rank up five and six stars you can't do that without doing alliance quests my alliance mates kick ass i don't give them enough credit people like hyperion people like dashi people like jeremy cunnies people like subsy if you guys are watching these daily vlogs thank you all so much for your continued loyalty and support nathan sammy dr doc fortune faded 420 and many others thank you all for helping out with alliance quest now this weekend we are also going to be playing elden ring we're going to probably do vincent show shows going forward at about nine o'clock if anything comes up like i'm hanging out with beth that might delay it till 11 i know the next four sundays i'm actually working however i have two saturdays off so the saturdays might delay the vincent show shows now i do work 10 30 to 7 tomorrow and my mom is dealing with some knee issues. So Rob Russell, if you feel like doing some gaming, maybe I'll buy you some dinner if you want to hang out Saturday. Let me know in advance. I'll work on getting to work. But if you want to hang out, let me know in advance so I can bring my Switch, I can bring my laptop, and we can play some games at your place and have a little bit of fun. As far as Sunday goes, I work 9.30 to 6, so we'll see what's going on then. I know Beth is going to be helping out at the play, so she's going to be unavailable pretty much both days. Poor Beth cracked her phone today. As far as Lost Art goes, I still am logging in every day to make sure that I check in, to make sure that I donate, to make sure that I help out on research where possible. I feel that if I have any free time, I'm probably going to spend it on W. WWE Mayhem currently. I don't know if I can get into Lost Ark like I can Elden Ring or other games. WWE 2K22 is coming out. I think the ship has sailed. So not that Lost Ark is a bad game because it's free to play. I just feel that it's just pretty basic. Like co-op does work really well in that game and I'm applauding that. But there's something missing about that game, and the story is really bland and boring. That's a story I can't get behind. Like, when everything in the game is cutscenes, it ain't worth it. I think that Borderlands 3 does a story a much better job, where you're not, like, stuck to cutscenes except for boss fights. I feel that story-driven games are repetitive. I'm talking about Final Fantasy XIV as well. It's not that either game is bad. It's just I'd rather get into a game where the story progresses, kind of like Diablo 3. That story was actually pretty good, and maybe it's because I'm more into the series than Lost Ark and the Final Fantasy story, which I give zero shits about. Let me know how you guys feel about that. But anyways, I'm going to keep this vlog a little bit short because we couldn't make a car daily vlog due to my mom having problems with her knee. But thank you all for watching this daily vlog, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for yet another daily vlog.